What's up guys, it's Mark 702 here, continuing my series on Fire Emblem Fates Revelation for the Nintendo 3DS. And so guys, last episode, our official last episode anyway, we actually did some DLC, went to the Xenolog, the Dragon's Gate, did the Ballistician or Ballistician Blitz DLC, and had a lot of fun there, got to do a lot of fun stuff as for getting some items, and also just having a good time uh, messing around with our units there. But in this episode guys, we ain't doing no DLC. We ain't doing no castle battles, we ain't doing no support series. We ourselves, guys, if you guys did, you know, stick around last video, which was basically the first episode of support series, we, um, pretty much had Leo and Felicia get married and everything like that. Really cute conversations. And since, of course, Leo has a son, we have unlocked ourselves a brand new paralogue in the Deep Realm. So... With that being said, I am very, very excited to be doing this once again. It's been quite a long time since we've done like a paralogue or anything chapter related, so very excited to be showing you guys this. And if you guys could, um, before we continue on with the video, please make sure to smash a like button for me. Really would appreciate it, guys. And uh, without any further ado, oh wait, totally forgot to tell you guys, but today, it's my boy Laszlo's birthday today, my boys. Let's go. I'm in a fine form today. I oh God, I can't speak in this voice. I'm in fine form today. So fine, in fact, I think my popularity could soar. Great, Laszlo. So you gained a surge of speed and luck. With my weapon in such condition, I'll never be caught off guard. Then we got weapon proficiency. And finally... Oh, someone dropped something. Could have belonged to a young lady. Of course, because this nigga fucking... Always trying to get at that ass. Always trying to get some cake in, in this bitch. Alright, but anyway, let's not waste any time, guys. I am very excited because um, there are a few opportunities that we can take in this paralogue that a lot of people have been telling me online on Twitter and also um, YouTube videos um, or YouTube playthroughs that have recommended this thing, but I will get into it in a little bit. We're going to go ahead and read the description. The group heads out to visit Leo's son, Forrest. However, Leo seems to be dragging his feet. When the group is attacked by bandits, they learn why Leo is, was acting that way. So, we're going to be getting into some serious father-son destruction as for their relationship. Uh, not complete destruction, but goddamn, they need freaking... They need some freaking intervention when it comes to their relationship. And, I, and yeah, you guys will see in a minute. So, we're going to be getting to the trading town. Let's just get into this, my boys. Let's just see what's going on here. Paralogue 16, Abducted. So we're going to be meeting up with Leo's son, Forrest. So that's pretty cool. I actually really like that name, too. Yo, we got Lisa up in here. Okay. I'm so excited to meet Forrest. It's weird to think that I have a new nephew and he's all grown up. I haven't seen Forrest since he was barely out of his crib. What's he like now? He's a troubadour, right? Thinks he, wanna join Wait, think he wants to join us? The more the merrier. Shit, Leo. No. And, uh, let's cancel this trip. We can go to his deep realm some other day. What? what? Cancel the trip? But I've looked forward to seeing Forrest. And you haven't visited him in forever. Don't you miss your son? Damn, this boy Leo has nothing to say about that. That is fucked up. What kind of father... Not, like, after so many years... Or maybe not even so many years, because the freaking children in this game grow like fucking... I don't even know, like, leaves. Um, <laughs> but basically, after so much time of him not seeing his son, he doesn't even fucking care. That is bullshit, Leo. Lord Leo. Urgent news. The town just ahead is being swarmed by brigands. They also say that a beautiful woman was caught in all the fr fracas. Okay. But she's apparently a troubadour and is doing her best to treat the wounded. No. This can't be. Uh -oh. What now? Oh shit, Elise. Yo, she said it before me. Or I said it before her, but whatever. You're as pale as a ghost. Yo, you're all white. Oh my god, what are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, we need to get there. Before. Before. Let's just get there, fast. Damn, Leo, what's the, what's the whole rush going on right now, my boy? What's going on here, dude? That's that. Oh, who's this young lady, I wonder? Oh my god, everyone's gonna go crazy right now. Well, that's that. I must have healed a dozen villagers. I better keep looking for more wounded. Those brigands, mindless beasts. That must be the troubadour we heard about. She's as beautiful as I say. Don't you agree, Leo? <laughs> oh my god, dude! This is the most awkward fucking meetup I've ever seen. You could, do you see Leo's face? He's just like, ah, oh, fuck me, dude. Just fuck me. Where did I go wrong? But you guys will see what I mean in a minute. Like anyone who's playing this for the first time and doesn't know about Forest already. Oh shit, man. What's wrong? 
Father, you're here. <laughs> oh, wow, it's Forrest. Yo, looking good, Forrest. So, this was the whole thing that people online have been like, Oh my god, Forrest, Forrest is a boy, dude? Oh my god, Thor's a fucking girl, dude? Oh my god, is he fucking gay or some shit? Oh my god, is he freaking transgender? No, he's a fucking boy. And he's not gay. He's just very feminine, okay? Respect people, have some respect for what people like to get into, okay? Father, you're here. All right, I don't even know why I went on with that speech. Leo, being a judgmental son of a bitch. What do you mean, father? You mistake us for someone else. Elise doesn't even know. Elise has no idea right now. I mean, unless, ha! Huh, unless my brother here has been hiding a second child. Yo, Leo, what have you and Felicia been up to, my boy? Don't be crass, Elise. What does she mean? Has the cat got your tongue? Hmm, I'll introduce myself then. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Aunt Elise. I'm Forrest. What? You're Leo's son? Of course. The one and only. Oh, wow. You're... You're... You're better than I could have ever imagined. And your sense of style is... Is... God damn it, Elise. It's exquisite. Oh, thank you. You. Oh, shit. Yo. Father and son bonding time, like I said in the beginning of the video. You. What are you doing outside of the deep realms? I heard that this is the village. Oh, this village is a fine place to shop for sewing supplies. My village is an abdom wait, abominable, ab ab abominable section. Oh my god. One cannot make fashion from burlap. But as soon as I arrived, brigands came crawling out of the woodwork. Fortunate for the villagers here, I came just in time to heal their. Oh, hear their wounded. Damn! Leo! Chill, man. You're a disgrace. Oh, my God. God damn, and he was smiling and everything. He, he was happy to see you, Leo. Oh, excuse me? Since when is saving lives considered a disgrace? You know what I mean, Forrest. You. The way you dress. Shit. Look at this asshole right now. Leo! I've told you before, but never so cruelly. Why are you being so hateful in front of Aunt Elise, too? Leo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Embarrass our lo embrace our lovely forest. Oh my god. And hold your tongue, Elise. This isn't your business. I'm sorry. Sorry that I ever left my deep realm. I'll go back to where I'm appreciated. Well then, Godspeed. Wow! Okay, Leo. I see how it is, my friend. But hold on, Forrest. Watch there. You're running straight for... Oh, you didn't say it quick enough, huh? Yeah, you know what? But then again, Forrest shouldn't be running away like this. Come, come on, dude. Oh, this part's awkward. <laughs> this part in the dialogue is so awkward. No, get your paws off of me. Well, hello, young miss. What's a lady like you doing in this pigsty? <laughs> How about I be a gentleman and put you somewhere nice and safe? How about I put my cock right in that butthole? Yeah, you're not gonna, <laughs> you're not gonna like what you find there, bud. Wouldn't you want a pretty thing like you to get hurt? Let's get her, boys. She'll fetch a king's ransom in gold. And this is the most confusing part. Like, why doesn't Forrest say anything? Like, I'm a fucking guy. But then again, they probably wouldn't believe him. No, they would. His voice, dude. Well, I mean, were, were there transgenders back in medieval times? I don't know. The world may never know. And now this, too? Yo, Forrest has a rough life right now. Forrest, we're coming. Jesus Christ, Leo. Stop being a jerk and help me save your son. Of course, you're not going to say shit. Okay. Then I guess it's up to me and the rest of us to rescue my nephew. Damn. She's not even the freaking mom, and she's helping out. How do you feel now, Leo, you fucking dick? All right, that's it right there. I still can't believe the fact that Leo, after not seeing his son and judging him on his appearance, he just doesn't care. I mean, come on now. This is so, this is so disgusting, dude. Honestly, that would be the most terrible thing in real life. I mean that yeah, it's probably happened before anyway in real life I mean wherever it is, but damn Leo really has to express himself in like the worst way possible like Jesus Christ Leo But you know what here we are in the battlefield. We actually have a huge ass castle to, or what it seems like a freaking Yeah, a really nice ass castle you know, if I might add. I mean, look at this fucking carpet right now. Look at this shit. God damn. Let's just look at this freaking castle from... Yeah, it looks pretty damn good. But uh, here we have Forrest as a Trobador, level 20, since, of course, we did beat the game. And since you do beat the game, you get maxed out base classes whenever you do visit your little offspring guys here. 
But yeah, Forrest doesn't have any items except for an offspring seal, so he can't even really help out with any healing, to be quite honest with you guys. But I have my team assembled already. I managed to do this off screen. I think I'm going to plan on doing this for like the rest of my videos on Fates whenever I do battles, since, you know, it just kind of gets things quicker at a much uh, faster pace. If you guys are wondering what my team is, of course we have Kashe and Leo. They're actually mandatory. I don't see why Kashe is mandatory, though. I don't really know why, but whatever. Then we have Azura, Ryoma, Xander, Selkie, Niles, Felicia, Saizo as a Vanguard. Yes, I actually did change Saizo's class, which is kind of controversial if I should have done it or I shouldn't have done it. But whatever, it's up to you guys. I mean, not up to you guys, but I mean, it's up to you guys to think whether it was a good choice or not. I'm keeping Saizo as a, fan, a Vanguard just to get, kind of bring more variety. Just thought it would be a unique class for him since I've never really done anything like that in the past. Um, so you know what, I just made Saizo a fucking Vanguard. He has a Silver Katana, he has um, a plus one steels axe, Steel Axe, and then Armor Slayer. But I don't think there are any armored units here. Oh, yes, there are. Okay, perfect. So, a very good way we're going to be able to actually get to Forest is if, of course the generals start to move to block up where Forrest is, I'm going to assume that these stairs lead somewhere over maybe here or something like that. Yo, look at this dude. All right, so a lot of people, okay, so, I mean, okay, I'm bringing back, uh, bringing back up what people have been tolling, telling me from Twitter. So, basically, we have this boss. His name is Gazak. Okay, his name is Gazak. And his portrait, I'm not going to lie, looks pretty damn black. He looks pretty chocolatey. But then you look at his model, like, goddamn, he looks pretty fucking pale. Like, his freaking comparison with his portrait and this, very, very different. But look at that smile, though. Do you see this, man? He looks like the goddamn Joker. But, yo, people have been constantly spamming me with this constant tweet. Not the spamming one exactly, but people, oh my god. Gazak, get Gazak in Forest Paralogue. He's like the best Berserker you could ever get in the game. He has ridiculous strength and HP. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Who the hell is Gazak? I have never heard of this man. But of course, since of course I've never heard of him, he has to be some kind of boss or something in one of the paralogues. So, here we have him here. And since we are in some kind of castle or prison-related area, we actually have an opportunity to capture him. So that is one of the reasons why I decided to bring Niles today, because he has his, um... Born skill is actually <laughs> kidnap, which grants the capture command if the castle has a prison and imprisons f defeated foes. So we have ourselves an opportunity to defeat Gizak and take him into our army, hopefully. I'm not saying this is going to happen for sure, only because once you do get bad guys or enemies into your prison, you only have a few chances before they decide to just either leave or, like, I don't know if you kill him or whatever, but. You have to do certain things in order to, of course, get those enemies or those boss um, characters from, of course, the paralogs in order to get them on your side, whether it be bribing them or just regularly persuading them. So, this this is going to be risky, but I mean, either way, if I don't get Gazak, I mean, I won't be too upset. I do want to get him only because so many people have been telling me he's like the best berserker in the game. I kind of want to see that for myself and kind of test him out if I do end up recruiting him, so... Only time will tell, though. We actually have to get this started right now. I didn't even explain the rest of my team. After Saizo, we have Kana, Sakura, and Elise. Uh, Elise being a really good person on my team because we have a lot, and I mean a lot, of non-resistant units. We have freaking heroes, then we have a lot of generals, and actually a lot of berserkers as well. And, um... Oh, there are actually some paladins. I did not see that before. But once we get close enough to Forrest, we're going to be hopefully rescuing him, talking to him with Leo, unless he just freaking shuns him away and just has Forrest running away again. Then we're all fucked. But other than that, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get Forrest on our side by just talking with Leo. So that should be good. And after that, we're going to be probably like sheltering him with maybe Xander, since really do not want Forrest getting in any danger or anything like that. So... Anyway, though, guys, we have our position units right here, and, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into this fight right now, guys. We are ready right now. Save our progress, and get into this fight right now. These dastards may intend to keep Forrest safe for ransom, but if hard-pressed, such brutal apes wouldn't think twice about killing him. We should try to keep the peace as long as possible until we get near Forrest. Okay, then. The enemy will send someone out to finish off Forrest as soon as you engage foes. 
or vice versa. So get as close to fours as you can before your first fight. Oh, shit, okay. That is interesting. That is extremely interesting. Wow. I mean, this kind of difficulty or this kind of little challenge in this paralogue is kind of reasonable or kind of understandable. Because, of course, originally this is Conquest you're talking about. In Conquest, you have, of course, Leo getting with some chick. And then you have Forest Paralogue, right? So... It would, it's not really surprising that we have a challenge like this to where we have to get through some kind of little puzzle area in order to get to our damsel in distress, which sounds so fucking weird. But, um, yeah, otherwise, he's gonna be killed. And he is not going to survive any hits, I'll tell you that. First of all, he has fucking 11 defense, and second of all, everyone here is promoted, so there you go. But, anyway, we're gonna be trying to avoid... We're gonna be trying to avoid as much conflict as we possibly can because of course we want to be able to get to forest very quickly so with that being said i don't really think i have any other flyers here that kind of fucking sucks but we're gonna go ahead and how am i fucking allowed to how the hell am i gonna be able to so these are stairs and okay so i'm just trying to see right now what the fuck how the hell how the hell do you do this shit I just want to fucking rescue Forrest. I should be able to do this, though. I should be able to rescue Forrest if I get close enough over here. Unless they all fucking move towards me next turn, which is very unlikely. I mean, very likely. So I really don't know what to do. I mean, of course, we're going to have Sakura going up first because, I mean, come on now. But we have to really look at this danger zone right now. It's not that bad, to be completely honest with you guys. It's really not that bad um, for the first turn, the danger zone. If we do manage to get past here, I mean, at least we can go really, really far as it is. So, I mean, if we do have Azura probably singing. How far can Azura go? Okay, just there? Holy shit. Okay. So, with the first things first, we're going to be pairing up Sakura with Elise. Going to be putting them... Hold on. Just got to see this one more time. Okay, so I'm going to put them right over here. Hold on. I got to be really sure about this shit. I do not want to make any wrong moves. I'm just going to put them right here. I don't even fucking care. Yep, just barely making it. Nope, not even. <laughs> we could have re actually moved up one more space. So, whatever. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and sing for these two. So that way we can get some extra range. Even though the inspiring song's not really going to do shit. Not a big deal. Okay, that is in the danger zone. Alright, I see you, I see you. Alrighty then. So, we're going to be waiting here for the time being. This is going to be kind of difficult. Because they're not going to be trying to get at to... F like, trying to get to forest. Unless... Unless we actually have a, someone attack us, or if we attack one of them. So that's kind of a problem. However, going through these stairs over here will, I'm going to assume, bring us over here. Oh my god, okay. So we really have to avoid these paladins as well. Otherwise, they're going to get to forest really easily, too. Then again, it's not going to be that easy. I mean, we could probably have maybe Xander kill him with like a beast killer. Since he actually does have that. Um, do we have... Oh, uh, I don't have a hunter's knife. Do I have any ninjas with me today? Damn, I don't. I mean, I have Felicia, if that counts. I have her paired up with Leo because that kind of helps out with Leo's magic. But damn, okay. Fel uh, yeah, Felicia does not have a hunter's knife, which is kind of a problem. We're going to have Leo close also because, I mean, come on. He's the one who has to talk to freaking Forrest. Really hoping we don't mess up here because that would really, really, really suck. Um, so yeah. Anyway, though. Let's have, I guess, fucking Kana over here. Let's have Kashe right here. We're just not gonna mess with these guys for the time being. Like, that's gonna be the worst part of this if Forrest gets killed. And then I'm gonna have to start over, pretty much. I mean, there's no other way around it. I need to start over. We can't just leave here without Forrest. Like, goddamn. Alright, so they're not gonna move. If we're not in their danger zone, we're fine. They're not gonna move, which is perfect. Okay. So I should probably pair someone up. Okay, so we're gonna be pairing up. With them. Damn, but they... Oh, Azura can't even go over there. Oh, I know what I can do. Just transfer Azura right there. There we go. Not bad. Alright, so right there. Xander can get really far. That's pretty obvious. So we're going to be putting Elise right here. Using Rally Movement. Why not? That actually helps out tremendously. However, we're still in the danger zone. What the hell? Okay, well, we should be fine at this point. Because, I mean, from here on out, we can move a lot. Is that 10 spaces exactly, though? We can't rescue, can we? Can we rescue from here? 
I'm really curious if we can or not. I mean, really, that'd be great if we could. I need to get in there, though. I need to get ready to fight, because shit, man. If anything goes wrong, we're, we're going to be paying the price for sure. Sakura might just be our sacrifice. <laughs> I'm really hoping that's not the case, though. That would really suck if we lose one of our units today. All right, sing for Elise. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Perfect. Okay. So now that we're just barely out of the danger zone, rescue? Damn it! What? No! Oh my god, that's so tedious! Oh my god, alright. So we can't rescue them. Oh, I think I know why. We can't rescue Forrest because of these freaking walls. Apparently they're just too impassable. Whatever, though. Alrighty, then. So we really can't do anything. We really can't do anything, huh? We can't even take the stairs? Hello? Wait, what the fuck? I really do not get this. Why can't we use the stairs? Hello? Where the fuck is the stairs option? Hello? Can I not get through here? This is a door, right? Yeah, but what the fuck? What the hell's the point then? Damn. Is there a guide for this? I need to see this guide. Cause shit, man. I need to see this shit. Okay, the enemy will send someone off to finish off Forrest as soon as you engage foes, or vice versa, so get as close as Forrest as you can before fight. Okay, then? But I can't even go through the stairs. That's kind of bullshit, alrighty. So what the hell am I gonna do? Like, just fucking wait here? That's kind of ridiculous. What the fuck? Okay. I'm gonna separate, because maybe if I have more units there, it's bad? I don't fucking know, dude. Listen, this map is complicated as hell. I This is my first time, as you guys can probably see, but goddamn, this is kind of weird. This is very weird. This is going to be a long-ass video, because I have no fucking clue what I'm going to do here. Damn it, man. Fucking, they're moving, too. Shit. All right. I see you. I see you guys. I actually see you. I can't fucking use rescue. That is such bullshit. Can I use the stairs now? No! I can't use the stairs! Are these the right stairs? God damn it. Really? These aren't the stairs? Are these reinforcement stairs? <laughs> Are they reinforcement stairs, though? Are you serious? Fucking shit. Okay. Alrighty, I see how it has to be, then. Pair up. Pair back up. Pair the fuck up. Alrighty, then. So, what I have to do... Okay, here's a door key, which is kind of convenient. But, damn, I have to get in right now, or else I'm just screwed. Okay, then. Okay. I see. Oh, my God. Alright, so... But, but, uh, but, that's, I gotta kill both these generals, that's just, I have to do that. So what I'm gonna do is fucking, how far can you go, Azura? Azura? Alright, we're gonna go right fucking here. Let's, we might as well attack one of these guys, right? But can I, can Azura reach there? Yeah, just barely, just barely, okay, we're fine then. First battle, here we go. Brynhildr. Brynhildr. That's what I meant to say. I gotta say it's sexy. I can't, well, then again, whatever I say is not really sexy. Get the fuck out of here. Damn, Leo's doing his goddamn job. He's angry for two reasons. His son and his son. Actually, yeah, it is the same reason. He's mad at his son and he's also mad that his son is captured. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Anyway, though, can I actually get to here? Yeah, I can kill at least one of these generals. It's not going to be a problem. I might as well just take care of it, at least one of them. Okay, so as long as I get a lot of these guys out of the way, then they're not going to be moving towards them yet, which is pretty obvious because it's not the enemy phase, but, you know, they're going to be charging at Forest very soon, which could be bad. But then again, these paladins really can't get far, <laughs> to be completely real with you guys. They really cannot get far. So, I mean, it's really not that bad. I was thinking this is going to be super bad, like, they're get like, all of them are going to charge at them at once, like, at Forest. But, I mean, it's not that bad, because we're going to be able to clear a lot of these guys anyway. So, I mean, you know what? What should, what should we use, though? Should we use a fucking... Let's just go straight up Thunder. I never use Thunder, so you were, we're just going to go with it. Don't you guys love... Oh, shit. <laughs> Elise is going in! Damn! Straight up Thunder right there. I never thought a plus seven Thunder would actually be able to get crits. All right, whatever, though. I'm fine with it. Wait, unless that was Fire. 
Unless that was fire. I think fire can't get crits, but whatever. What the hell do I know? Alright, Azura, now is your time. Ooh, but this could be a bad situation. Actually, no. We should be fine, right? Shit, but I need, like, a lance or some shit. Oh, we don't even have a disadvantage. Alright, we should be fine then. Kana, let's go. Kana, I haven't used it in quite a bit. So you know what? Let's just go. You get that Dragon Fang. Oh, oh. That Astra? That Astra! Oh! Okay. 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 I see you, though, Kana. You don't play no games on this side. Okay. Damn. Not bad at all, though. Not bad at all, though. Okay, so now Leo is just gonna fucking... Actually... Ugh. Who has better defense? 35 defense? 32 defense. Damn, that's kind of embarrassing. Jesus Christ. Fucking... Fucking Felicia only has, like, three <laughs> three less resistance than this guy. I mean, def defense, sorry. <laughs> defense. But then again, Leo's defense is actually not even maxed out yet. But almost there. Might as well just use the fucking... Let's use a snowstorm. Why not? Well, it's basically Fimbelvetter. Fimbelvetter. What is with all these cool names, man? I love these tome names, guys. Shit, I totally forgot we can get hit like that. I was not paying attention. But then again, we do have Ghoul uh, Ghoul Darg, <laughs> Dual Guard now. Put that key away. Got Life Taker. We're fine. All right. At this point, we we gotta get working now, guys. Otherwise, we're gonna be pretty fucked. Pretty fucked. At all, you know, a little bit. All right. That's a disadvantage. That's pretty damn unfortunate. Unfortunate. If I go with dual Yumi, though... Ooh, that would actually be good for me for not only this guy, but also the sword guys. Yeah, the heroes. But then again, this is... Eh, this is not looking so good, my boys. My boys. Okay, this is not looking so good at all. Like, fuck. Well, you know what? I'm gonna have freaking Saizo do it. I just kind of feel more safe have him, like, having him do it, because... Um, of course, Saizo. Shut up, Ryoma. You gotta chill out, man. Chill out, Ryoma. Dude, he looks so cool as a vanguard, though. You got, you guys can't lie. Saizo looks pretty badass as a fucking vanguard. I think I'm gonna hold off on this side. I think I'm just gonna go on this side from now on. So, you know what, Kashe? Let's fucking go. Let's just go balls deep with that Omega Yato. Because we already know we're getting one hit KOs up in this bitch. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh shit, Aether? Was it really necessary though? He got slammed! But he got slammed though, was it really necessary? Damn, okay. Alright, Leah, I mean, Niles. Um, what was I saying before? I was saying that Niles, you know, it wouldn't be good to have him up front because, of course, you know, his defense kind of sucks. Like, actually, really sucks. Uh, but then, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna freaking have him next to Saizo. Gonna be equipping that dual Yumi just so that way we have an advantage. Oh, but that Berserker, though. Oh, wait, hold on. This Berserker has a Steel Axe. That's not good. He has 28 skill. 22 crit. That's not as bad, but goddammit, no. You know what? <laughs> no, we're not risking shit. We ain't risking shit. And then Selkie. What is Selkie doing all the way back here? Poor girl. You know what? We're gonna have Selkie over there soon. She's gonna be in action. Oh, shit. Okay. If we get an Aether after we get hit from this, we should be fine. Get an Aether. Come on, Kashe. God damn it. Come on, Kashe. Don't disappoint. Oh, fuck. All right, whatever you say, dude. Do whatever the hell you want to do. God damn. I love that crit dragon fang. It is so awesome. Like, seriously. The freaking crit on dragon fang is so damn BA. Jesus Christ. All right. Disadvantages all around, but who honestly gives a shit? Whatever. 10 damage. I gotta give Saizo Aether or something. Because, I mean, he can't really do anything about all this shit. Oh no! Azura! Damn it, I was hoping you would miss. And I don't even have freaking Aether for Azura either, man. She only has Astra. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Whatever, man. I'm gonna speed all this shit up. Oh, I found out something online, though, from certain YouTubers. They taught me... Not taught me, but I learned that you can actually hold the L button right before someone attacks you, and you can skip all the animations like this. That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. You can just freaking skip all these animations and just have like the little unit um, map animations right there. But, you know, I don't really care. Um, you can do that whenever you want. You don't have to like do any specific like uh, freaking like menu doing like menu things or whatever. Wait, how do you get Dragon Ward? Oh, Kashe was right next to him. That's why. Kashe was a unit next to him. 
Damn, Azura's gonna get killed, isn't she? This sucks. But then again, I think that's the rest. Is that all of them? Are they gonna stop attacking Azura right now? I only did that so that way Leo can actually get over there. Now Azura's gonna pretty much become a sacrifice. That kind of sucks, man. Yo, Gazak, you better not move. <laughs> Yo, what's this guy gonna do? Get the hell out of here. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Kana, slice this man up. Hello? Azura! Wow, Azura, you're pretty mad after they struck at you. Damn. Helping out your mom, aren't you? Kana. Or vice versa. Helping out your daughter. You raise a finger against us? I'll send an axeman for our hostage. Besides, some of your... Look, wait. Some of you look classy enough to make it even better hostages. Ha! Ah, get them all, boys. What does that mean? <gasps> My boy. Hello? Oh, no, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> we're fucked. Never mind. We're not fucked. What am I talking about? All right, we're good. Open up that door, Leo. Let's go. Let's go. My boys. My boys. All right, let's go. Let's get in this bitch. All right, Azura's fine. She actually heals a lot. I kind of forgot what caused that. Let me check out her skills. Check out my skills. At least be like. I think it's her born skill. Yep. Allies within two spaces heal up to... No, that's allies, though. Whatever. Whatever it is, Azura got healed up. I, I'm pretty sure she was at lower HP before this, but... You know what? What do I know? All right, Xander. Let's get cooking. Let's get cracking right now, my boy. Let's fucking go. You Xander's Lance. Why not? Actually... Oh, this kind of want to make... This kind of makes me want to separate Azura and Xander... Because I want to be able to move Xander again, so that way he can probably get up here and use a beast killer on these motherfuckers. Because that would be great. Shit, I might just do that. Alright, fine. That's going to waste my turn with Azura, though. Oh, that might be bad. Shit, that's going to be really bad. And now Azura's in front. That was a bad move on my part. Damn it. Yeah, and this guy can get to her, too. No, he can't. He can? Whatever, I'm going to use fucking lightning on this man. This will kill, because we're going to either get a skill or, yeah, this is going to kill, right? Yeah, it's going to kill. Look at this. Look at this girl, Kana, going to work right now. That lightning, though. Let's go, Kana. I love the fact that you're just getting to work super fast. You know what, Niles? Let's just freaking go, because I'm pretty sure these guys will be fine. There's, like, literally no one here. <gasps> Never mind. Wow, I did not, I did not remember that there were reinforcements from the back over there. Oh my god, alright, now let's just have you guys, let's just have you kill these guys. I can capture these guys too, that's awesome. Okay, so dual Yumi would be best. Crescent Bow might be our better option though, because we're going to be able to double instantly. So you know what, I'm up for that. I am much more up for that than anything else, so... You are fucked. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Dun 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 alright. MJ style. There we go. Alrighty then. So, I should be able to take care of this guy, though, in one sweep. Can I not? Hell yeah, I can. <laughs> Hell yeah, I can. Let's go, Kashi. Get an Aether, please. Yes! I just want to heal some HP. I just kind of don't like the fact that Kashi is without HP. Damn, he got freaking sliced. That looked like it hurt. I mean, sorry, man. That, that must have sucked. Not gonna lie. You have a Lance, and I can just use my nice Sasuke's X. Reference to uh, Naruto. That's not gonna kill, is it? That's 22 damage. Unless I manage to proc a skill. Oh, but I have an armor slayer. Psh, I totally forgot. I totally forgot I had an armor slayer. Oh my god. I should have used that instead. But then again, I was fighting someone else when I was fighting with Saizo. Whatever. I don't even care at this point. Who cares? Let's go. Not bad at all. Saizo did not say anything after that. He's just like, oh yeah, fuck. Fun. Lord Ryoma. For Lord Ryoma. Fuck. Alright. Selkie, can you take care of these heroes? I think you can. Oh, but you have the Beast Stone Plus equipped. Damn, that mine. Oh my god, that defense though. Holy shit. Alright, you know what? I think you can take him though. With your speed, you should be perfectly fine. Although your speed is not as good when switching into this, you should be fine. It's better that than less defense, so I mean... Whatever, man. Whatever. Okay then, so I used everyone here. Any notable threats, though? I don't see enemy. Enemy. I don't see enemy, to, to be completely honest with you guys. 
We should kill this guy, though. This guy's a problem. You know what, Sakura? Let's have you do it. Just because, you know what? Let's just, let's just do it. I want Sakura to get a crit. I mean, come on. This is Sakura's sniper we're using right now. Come on, Sakura. Damn it. Come on. Get a crit. Oh, that might have... Oh, I might have slipped. I might have slipped. I might have slipped a little bit. Oh, wait. Hold on. 16 damage. 42%. Will it hit? It's not going to hit. What? Hello? Wow. 1 HP. Isn't that just such a fucking tease? Same results here. Oh, this might not be so good. We might be screwed. She has to dodge it this time. Thank you. Get a crit. You fuck. Oh my god, Selkie. I mean, the grizzly wound isn't even helping. Yeah, this Molnar. Unless you get a crit, you're not doing shit. Get out of here. And you missed. Okay. Not bad. Why is everyone attacking Leo? What did Leo do to you? For a second, I thought he was going to get a crit, but then I just looked at his uh, fucking chances right there. He did not get anywhere close to a crit. Yeah, so the goal for today's chapter is to route the enemy. Only at a oh my god, only eight enemies left, so I mean it's really not that big of a deal. Selk, you're not doing anything to these guys. They still both have one HP. There's really nothing going on right now. Hey, I can kill you though. Selkie's gonna get some nice fresh actually no, hold on. She's already maxed out. Literally everybody that I bring brought today. Fucking Oh shit, she plays rough, my boy. Better watch out, she's gonna eat you up! All right, I'm I'm talking about like, damn, she played with your cock. Um, that was <laughs> that was so stupid. Um, what was I trying to say? I was just trying to say that Selkie fucking. What was I about to say? I totally forgot. Oh my god. All right, whatever. It doesn't matter at this point in time. Uh, Gazak, he's just waiting for me to kill him. I'm gonna kill you so that way I don't know, just have an easier time with Gazak so that way you know my strength is back up. So I'm just gonna kill you real, qu real quick. Let's speed it up. You've been hit by. You've been struck by. I smooth. Good enough. Speed it up right there. I sped up the fight and I sped up my uh, lyrics right there. All right, now Niles' HP is back at full. It's not HP, but his strength. Okay, <laughs> that was weird. Oh, there's a door blocking me off here too. What the hell? Oh, I should have gotten rid of something for another chest key. That's uh, that kind of sucks. I mean, Sonic goes all the way over here. Oh, my God. All right. I see how it is. I see how it fucking is. Kyle Shade's going to help you out. You know what? Just because I haven't uh, used this freaking weapon in such a long time, let's just go Dragonstone. Why not? Kyle Shade gets super huge defense boosts from this, so I mean, why not? But but was the Dragon Fang really necessary, though? I, I'm, I'm just asking. Wow, in the 69? God damn it, Kashi. Why are you such a fucking savage? God damn it. Oh my god, I'm looking right now. Oh my god, can I just freaking see my units right now? Look at this shit. Yo, do you guys see this right now? Do you see my defense? Oh my god. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Fucking Kashi has a fucking 48 defense. And 40 res, too. Because apparently Dragonstone deals magical damage, which makes no fucking sense. But whatever. I ain't complaining too much. We can actually... Oh, fuck. Damn it, I did not think we would have to do this. Fine. I can't even kill! So no crit with that, but I can crit with the fucking beast killer? Whatever you say, as long as you get an aether. Please get an aether. I just want these guys out of my fucking way. Get an aether, please. Damn it, Xander. Really? Really, dude? Alright, fine, dude. I am perfectly fine with this. Kana, we're gonna have to put in some work. You know what I'm saying, girl? Let's go. Put in some freaking work right now. Lightning time. Pretty much our brave tome. Wait. Kana has Aether? Yo, I totally forgot. I totally forgot Kana had Aether. Wow, I wonder why I forgot that. She doesn't have Aether. Oh, but Xander does. But why Why is that? Why'd she get that? I totally forgot. Hold on, though. Oh, she has Norian Trust. Oh, that's so cool. I totally forgot about that. Since Kana has the skill Norian Trust, every once in a while, if she does have a possible crit chance, she can use a supporting unit's triggered skills in combat. And since we were next to Xander, and he's a Norian, we were actually able to use one of his skills. Oh my god, that is so cool. That is so cool. Yo. What skill... I have Dragon Word. Should I keep Dragon Word, guys, for Kashe, or should I give him Norian Trust? Because honestly... Oh, but I'm a Hoshido Noble. 
<laughs> whatever. I'll just fucking get one from, like, a freaking castle battle or some shit. Whatever. But I really want Norian Trust now, because something like that is actually really cool. Either that or Hoshi and Unity. I have that, too. I could just freaking... But then again, what skills, <laughs> what offensive skills could I get with, like, freaking the Hoshidans? I mean, Ryoma would be my best bet because he has good skills, like Astra, but I already have Astra. So, I mean, I don't fucking get the point. So, Norian's, Norian Trust, dude. That is nice. Anyway, I'm just curious. I'm gonna just sing for Niles just because, and there's basically no one else in range. Actually, no, I should probably use this on Kana. Yeah, that'd probably be better. You know what? Alright, Kana, let's just fucking do some damage right now. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Let's just... Let's see if we can actually get another Aether. That'd be really cool. I just totally recognize... I mean, just realize the fact that, um... That Kana has Norian Trust and that she can actually use other people's skills. Is this gonna take much longer? God damn it. Alright, there you go, Kana. There you go. You got the kill. Plain and simple. Alright. Oh, I used up his first turn, so now I can't even freaking... Damn it, I'm gonna be blocked off from the door. But then again... Is there really much to worry about? There's only three enemies left, guys. There's really not a big of a deal. <gasps> oh, there's a chest here. Ooh, now should get to that shit. Or Saizo. Yeah, Saizo can get to that too. He still has a uh, lock touch. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna switch. Actually, no. I can use rescue now, can't I? Yes, I can. No, I can't! Oh my god, that's so stupid! Why is Forest not- Forest should be in reach. Come on! Wow, his chambers are really, really, really strict. That is terrible. Alright, fine. Fine, game. Jeez, man. Alright, but I'm gonna be right here. Just in case if, of course, we get Forrest over here. We're gonna have Leo talk to him. Hopefully things were better. Hopefully things get better. And we don't have any problems, okay? Azura's fine. She's good at dodging. Yo, what is this Berserker trying to do? He's just like, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, sneak my way over here. Even though nothing helped. Alright, uh, Saizo, let's get this chest. Why don't we? Let's see what's inside. Oh my god. Really? 5,000 gold? I really do not care about money at this point in time. I literally can get any item I want right now. I literally have so much money. First of all, Midori is like a bank. <laughs> she gets money for me all the time. So, I mean, I really do not see the point. Oh, but now I need Niles to get over here. That's such a freaking pain. Oh my god. Alright, someone... Yeah, let's get Niles over here. Let's see this. Alright. I'm gonna kill you so bad. Like, so bad. You are literally going to get killed right now by Kana right now. Oh my fucking god. You are so done! Of course you can, Kana. Of course you can. That's your, that's your damn mother. That's your mom! Alright, Zara, how much can you go? Alright, we're gonna be right here. We're gonna switch to Xander. Oh, we can actually warp. I totally forgot about that. Oh my god. That's awesome. Yo, get out of my way, though. Sakura, get out of my damn way. Alright, so we're gonna rally real quick. Why not? Then, we're gonna freaking... We're gonna freaking switch. Since I do have warp on Xander, the most useful skill in the world, we're gonna wait right here, my boys. And I should be able to what the hell. Oh, switch. Hello! You know, Niles is the one with not like, lock touch. Jesus, man. Alright, can I talk to this man? I can't even talk to him! What the hell? Alrighty then. Okay, that makes a lot of freaking sense. Okay. We literally have two enemies left, though. Come on now. This can't get any more ridiculous. So we can't even freaking talk to this kid. This kid Forrest over here. Okay. I can see you're upset, Forrest. Trust me. But damn, you really don't want to talk to us right now? That's fucking bullshit. Alright, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and sneak up on this bastard right now. This is gonna be so funny. Oh my god. So you know what, Kashe, let's go. Let's freaking go. We're gonna be right here. Let's pair someone up with Selkie. Uh, what's Selkie gonna help with? The speed, you know what? I'll take the speed. Azura, let's sing. Let's sing real quick. There we go. Wow, that's so much farther than I thought. Oh my god, alright, so now all we have to do is wait, right? Just keep on coming, man. Keep on coming. And Forrest isn't even gonna freaking move right now. That's kinda ridiculous. And freaking Azura can't even get any farther. Holy crap. Jesus, man. All right. So we're just going to wait for this mother fricker. Might as well equip that brave sword. Why not? Wait. Oh, my God. This is so freaking annoying just waiting for this asshole. All right. Here we go. 
Ready for this, dude? Oh my god, we're gonna be able to kill you so bad. Brave sword hype, let's go. The bold rapier, as I like to call it. Oh, damn. Straight up crits. Damn, you gotta put his foot in his face. How does that foot smell? You like that foot fetish, bro? How do you like that foot from Kashe? He doesn't wear shoes, remember. <laughs> what am I even saying? Where's Niles at? Oh, he's over here. All right, cool. So you know what? I'm about to do this right now. I'm gonna do this right now. So he has a Silver Star Axe, which is an enemy exclusive item. Not bad at all. We're gonna wait right here. We're gonna freaking separate. Why not? Let's just separate. And now Niles, we're gonna warp. We're gonna warp with Xander. So we're gonna go all the way over. Hello? Over here. Damn it, that was not. Okay, there we go. We're, we're fine. Capture. Yes! Oh, but damn it, no. I mean, oh, damn it. If we don't. I don't have any offensive skills. Crap. And he has a 9% crit chance. Maybe I should have thought this through. Oh, I should not have I should not have done this. Damn it. And then if I go with zero. Oh, if I go with zero though, I have a 51% crit chance though. You know what? Capture. Let's use Oh my god, that is the cheapest shit I've ever seen in my life. So because we're using the capture ability, we can't use any freaking crits. Our crit chances have gone from 51 to zero. To zero. Literally zero. <laughs> oh my lord, that is the fucking worst thing ever. But hey, we're gonna be able to kill him regardless. Unless he gets a crit on us. Let's go. Here we go. We got Gazak. I don't care who you are. This village is mine. And everyone in it too. You sure about that, nigga? You sure about that, nigga? About to get fucked. How'd you miss? There we go. Got him. Got him. There we go. Damn, that was a lot of damage, though. Holy crap. You bunch of filthy curves. I took this place fair and square. Yeah, asshole, you're coming with me. Gazak was captured. What a great way to end off the freaking... Freaking Paralog. But there we go. In eight turns, and with Sizer and Roman being the heroes, we have beaten Paralog 16, abducted. Not bad at all. What a shame, father, to meet your brave friends, and now to say farewell... But I'll make good on my promise to um, head back to my deep realm. Yo, that's so freaking sad, though. Literally, Forrest just got yelled at by his dad because of how he looks and how he should not be out of his deep realm, but that's pretty much everyone's problem. But, I mean, he still has so much respect for his father and is still very kind to him, not even holding any grudges. That's so freaking sad. I mean, I'm not saying he should have a grudge against his dad, but still, I mean, come on. You have to freaking love Forrest, man. You have to love his fucking, his devotion to his father. Don't think for one moment that I'm leaving, um, to spare your feelings. Oh, okay, so he does have a backbone in this. You're unworthy of me, father. Oh, okay! Okay, so we got a little bit of roasting over here. I was totally wrong. I'll meet Aunt Elise, of course, but I'm sure that she will visit me. And so, farewell. Forrest. Please, please. Forrest, is it? You may not remember. You saved me. As I lied, or as I lay dying, there you were, and there I was fine. I don't have much, but please take this. Just a small token of my appreciation. Thank you. Damn, this brooch is beautiful, but I can't take this. I was only doing my duty. <laughs> yes, you will. My whole family would have been dead without you. Wait right here, I'll get him, and a lot of other people who want to thank you. Yeah, what do you have to say to that, Leo? Huh? What do you have to say to that? You didn't do anything special like that. <laughs> nice trinket you got there. I mean, er, I mean... Sorry I can't- Oh, sorry I can be a bit of a jerk, as Elise so bluntly puts it. Hey, at least she was being honest. That is indeed a lovely keepsake the villager gave you. And you are the hero here. We- Well, we. I merely blundered in late. Oh, well, father, I know it must agonize you to say something nice to me. Oh, shit. He didn't even say that sarcastically. He was straight up, I know it's hard to say something nice to your own fucking son. Damn. I'll take your words with me as a keepsake, too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I truly am. I must seem like a stone-hearted father to you. You're right to say that I'm not worthy. That Elise was able to see you as a person of s sterling qualities, while I couldn't. I'm, uh, I'm a better person than this, so I like to think. Father? Oh, so I like to think. Father, an apology from you? 
Don't bother, I really don't need it. Yes. I'm sure you don't, son. You far- Oh, you're far stronger than I could ever be. And I'm embarrassed to ask, but I wonder if you want to spend more time with your father. I don't mean in the deep realms, I mean here, with me. What a joy. I can get to know my Aunt Elise. She and I will be, be fast friends. Oh my, wow, Forrest. Okay, so you're ditching your dad. Okay, I, I can respect that. That's kind of payback. I might even learn a thing or two about fashion from her, or she from me. Yay. You're actually going to come with us, Forrest? Of course. I couldn't say no to my Aunt Elise. Hmm? Hold on. You have to stop right now, Forrest. I'm not going anywhere with you until you keep this aunt stuff. Oh, I... Oh, shoot. I'm not going anywhere with you if you keep on with this aunt stuff. Fair enough, Elise. Phew, I'm just not ready to grow up that much yet. Damn. Well, are you sure about this? I'm giving up a lot to join you, father. Yes, absolutely. And I give you my solemn vow, Forrest. I'll learn to be a father worthy of you. You know what, Leo? You know what, Leo? I give you props. You know, that was actually pretty good. Not bad, my friend. Not bad. And there we have it. That is it for Paralog 16 right there, my boys. That was a good chapter. Not not chapter, but that was a good Paralog. I'm not going to lie. I know it's Lazlo's birthday. They're doing this again? I wonder why. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and actually see Forrest in our party right now. He actually does have our cell. Oh, we have an offspring seal, like I said. We're going to be using it right now so we can change him into either a butler or a strategist. Okay. Of course, we're going to be going with the strategist route because that is a lot of people's recommended classes. Not only that, it just fits him well, as he'll be able to not only use his staffs for healing, but also being able to use tomes for, of course, offensive magic and stuff like that. So, very glad to have Forrest on the team. I completely respect his way of life, you know, having fem feminine um, interests, stuff like that. I think it's cool, you know? Forrest is his own person, and that's what people should respect. But anyway, um... Let's get rid of this. We don't need that. But um, anyway, guys, now that we have Forrest as a strategist and we got all that out of the way, I'll be sure to train up Forrest, um, of course, on my own time and hopefully make great use of him. But we got one more thing to do before we actually end off this video. First of all, we got ourselves... Where the hell's the prison? <laughs> oh, my God. I've been looking forward to this for a while because so many people, like I said, have been freaking telling me about this shit. Here we go. Get into the prison. Hello? Sigbert. Oh, no. Sigbert, will you be able to bribe him, though? I don't know, dude. Hello? <laughs> Sigbert's just like, hello, welcome to the prison. This is the prison. It is time for an inspection already. Why, you don't like that? All right, let's see. Ah, shit, man. Bribe, persuade, or release. Persuade? Sigbert's a nice kid, but I don't think he's going to be swayed by him. <laughs> no, because Zok is not going to be swayed by a nice kid like Sig Sigbert. Can we try persuading him at first? No, let's just bribe him. I don't even freaking care. Damn! Wow, okay, so freaking... Holy shit. Okay, so not... 35... For, oh my god. 33 sapphire and 35 pearls. That's how... Okay then, I see how you like to play. Give up these resources to recruit this prisoner? Why not? I pretty much have everything. And Gazak joined your group! Hey, Let's go! Yo, what the hell? Wow, he ran away quickly! Damn! He probably would have done the same thing if he was actually, like, released, but, I mean, I guess since he's free and he's on our team... Whatever, man. Whatever floats your boat. But here we go! We have Gazak in our party right now! Let's go! I'm pretty excited. I mean, I'm not super, super hype about having him here because I'm, you know, not a huge deal, of course, but, I mean, still... Very happy to have Gazak on our team, of course, since um, a lot of great things have been told about him having the best strength and the best freaking HP in the game. Starting off at base, 61 HP. That's pretty damn insane. And he starts off, of course, with... Oh, wait, what is that skill? Good Fortune? Oh, that's not bad. So he starts off with Good Fortune, which restores 20% of his HP at the start of every turn. That's great. Alright, that's, that's pretty cool, and he actually has maxed out skill at 31, which is great also, because he's going to be able to get some nice-ass crits. One great club is probably going to do it for Gazak, and he'll be like a freaking monster. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. If you all did enjoy it, I want to keep on seeing more episodes uh, consistently. Make sure, as always, um, guys, make sure to smash that like button for me, and also make sure to comment down below. Um... And also make sure to comment um, your opinions on Forrest. I don't know. From now on, 
whenever we do these kind of like paralogs and stuff like that, I can ask you guys like your opinions on the character or your opinions on the character's map that you had to go through, whether you're on like casual or expert or lunatic or whatever it was. Let me know what you guys think about Forrest, his character, and everything like that. And also let me know what you guys felt about the map and the whole chapter in general with Forrest. But until then, um, if you guys haven't subscribed, also make sure to go do so as well in case you want to see these videos whenever they do get uploaded. And that would also really help me out tremendously, guys. But anyway, thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace, Marquezies. Stay awesome. <laughs>